A great pleasure in presenting our e-poster, First Muslim Female Surgeon and History of Muslim Women in Surgery. Women's history in surgery dates back to before common era in the Western civilization and were described indeed to have taken active parts in the medical and surgical field. In view of the growing importance of the subject of gender in our society, we aim to depict the timeline of Muslim women journey in surgery and to describe the first recognized Muslim female surgeon. In fact, women actively participated in management, in medicine, and so much more in the Muslim world during the early Islamic era. And the first Muslim female surgeon was believed to be Rufaid al-Islamiyah, also recognized as a social worker and a nurse. Born in the sixth century in a family with medical and social activism, her devotion to medicine was triggered and nurtured by her physician father. And throughout devoting herself in taking care of the sick people during wars, she established a recognized expertise. More admirably, she dedicated herself toward training other women as well, and even was described to instigate the first ever concept of mobile acute uh, care medical units or described as a Muslim history is full of pioneer women who played crucial roles in medicine and science. To name a few, Fatima Fihriya, who founded the first concept of university in North Africa. The Muslim female surgeon journey can be divided into three major eras, the pre and post Islamic era around it, the middle ages era, and finally early modern era to nowadays. Each one had distinct cultural and social variables that impacted their role in the medical field and particularly in surgery. The early Islamic era was considered an empowering era for women in general, as the new established culture at the time preached for both cultivating science considered as a practice of faith and more women rights from the dark ages. With the downfall of the Islamic era due to historical key events and overall the closure of the Muslim world on itself, this led unfortunately to an oppression of women's rights and freedom in general. Up until modern times, and unfortunately, considering the, the global protectorate established upon uh, Arab countries during the 20th century and the following conditions, very little records were found available in order to establish exactly when and where was trained the first known modern Muslim female surgeon. Finally, though history, Muslim, though through history, Muslim women's place in the medical field was an honest reflection of the current social norms. 